so it's officially summertime and you know you don't want to be walking around ashy so let me put you on some real quick um hello everyone welcome back to wellness wednesdays so this is a body care week for this month and today we'll be talking about our triple a body oil this is my bottle which is why it's not full but our triple a body oil so hence the name there are only three ingredients almond oil apricot oil and argan oil right so um even though this oil is advertised as a body oil it's actually multi-purpose so you can use it on your body of course you can use it for your skin to like seal in moisture after you cleanse and tone or you can use it on your hair i actually just had a customer tell me um this past friday that she was using the oil for her um in her locks and it made her locks softer so it can also be used as a hair oil but we're gonna get into all that right so um i'm outside so i'm trying to talk a little louder if you can't hear me you know um if i'm screaming i'm sorry but we get into it so as far as skin goes, almond oil purges the skin of toxins. It opens your pores. It helps to retain moisture. Um, it's fast absorbing. It lightens the appearance of scars and stretch marks. So almond oil, I talk about almond oil a lot. This is a very, very, very good oil to help with hyperpigmentation. Like um, our honey brown sugar scrub has almond oil in it. And that in addition to the other ingredients in the scrub are what help to lighten skin and um fade hyperpigmentation so that you know you have an even complexion um so our body oil i'm gonna just sit that right there even though you can't see it i'm just gonna put that right there but our body oil um also has you know the almond oil in the body oil also has the same effects so it can help with it can it can help with high pigmentation <laughs> that you have on your body if you're using it on your body or on your face. So, um, and it's almond oil is, anyways, like I was saying, almond oil is, um, very, very lightweight. So, if you are a person who has, um, naturally oily skin and you're using it on your face, like I have naturally oily skin. If you're using almond oil on your face, it absorbs quickly as opposed to sitting on top of your skin like heavier oils do. So, um, almond oil has a rate on the comod I still don't know how to say this word. Com comedogenic. Comedogenic scale. So, this is the scale that tells how likely products are to clog your pores. With zero meaning that it won't clog your pores. Five meaning that it's highly likely that it's going to clog your pores. Almond oil is only a two on a comedogenic scale so if you have oily skin um it's fast absorbing and it's really good for you so argan oil um protects your skin from sun damage improves water retention in your skin so it helps um your skin hold in more water keeping it hydrated and moisturized longer um it's anti-inflammatory so if you have you know uh irritated skin or bumps scars scratches i just had like 12 not not exaggerating i counted them i had like 12 mosquito bites um last weekend stuff like that it can help calm it down if it's inflamed um and regulate sebum production so that's for your face sebum is your skin's natural oil that it produces on its own it helps to regulate the amount of sebum produced by your skin so something that i learned a couple years ago being a person with naturally oily skin you would think that um if you have naturally oily skin you would think that you shouldn't add no more oil or no moisturizer period to your skin because it's already oily right but it turns out that your skin is only oily because it's dry so you, your body your skin naturally begins to produce excess sebum in order to make up for that dryness which is why you have oily skin so once you start moisturizing your skin with lightweight oils then it will help to regulate the amount of sebum produced because your skin is no longer dry so fun fact so um yeah and it also heals skin infections and apricot oil it smooths out blemishes and wrinkles it moisturizes the skin and it heals sore chapped and wounded skin so if you have once again scar scratches things like that it can help heal it 
um the almond oil helps to fade it so that it's you know your skin all one color and um it feels really good like i said in the, the five love languages video i massage this oil in my body on my body when i do my self-care days they are screaming but um i massage this on my body with my self-care days and it just it feels so good like i don't i'm just uh honestly <laughs> don't know how to explain it but it just feels really good like it's not too loose but it's not too thick either like if it's like a perfect oil to massage your body with like that's what i do with it so um and then like i said if you um need like a face moisturizer you can also try it for your face these are like pure oils like pure almond oil pure apricot oil and pure argan oil <laughs> so um because this this is um okay so it turns out that was my grass getting cut so <laughs> here we are again um i don't even know what i was saying i don't remember but anyway let's just jump right into the hair so um so for hair almond oil strengthens your hair making it less prone to split ends um it's a natural antioxidant which combats environmental stress and promotes growth it softens your hair it treats scalp conditions like seborrheic dermatitis which is a flaky scalp so that's almond oil i also use almond oil in my hair um similar to my skin being oily i also have low porosity hair so i have to use lightweight oils on both my face and my hair so that it's easily penetrable um so that's not just sitting on top of my skin or sitting on top of my hair shaft um and yeah straight your hair makes your hair really really soft um if you do decide to use this for your hair you could do a hot oil treatment with it put it in like a microwave safe bowl warm it up do a hot oil treatment um but that's argan oil almond oil argan oil reduces breakage and split ends um which if you have split ends your hair is not going to grow past a certain length because once it gets to that length it starts splitting instead of growing out straight like it should so keep your ends trimmed and using oils and products that prevent split ends is very crucial to hair growth um it prevents hair loss it moisturizes and conditions due to its fatty acid content so argan oil contains oleic and linoleic acids which lubricate the hair shaft and help your hair to maintain moisture once again locking in that water content in your hair to keep it moisturized it's anti-inflammatory and also helps to improve scalp health um prevents styling and color damage so the fatty acids that i mentioned before oleic and linoleic acids add a protective layer to their hair which help protect it from like heat and tools um comb like excessive combing and things like that so it um it has a protective layer to your hair to help keep it in check when you get this if you're a person that gets your hairstyle um and apricot oil reduces excess scalp dryness <laughs> promotes hair strength and growth and it detangles without greasiness as well as draws in moisture so once again this is a um these are relatively lightweight oils they are lightweight oils almond oil re comedogenic rating of two apricot oil has a comedogenic rating of two as well and argan oil has a rating of zero so of course everybody's different but according to whatever studies were done to create this com comedogenic scale they are saying that there is a very, very, very low chance that argan oil will fog your pores. So once again, if you somebody with oily skin or low porosity hair like myself, these this is a great combination of oils for you. Like they easily penetrate your hair shaft and or your skin to help lock in the moisture that's inside. So um, yeah, the triple A body oil can be used for, like I said, skin massages. It put it give a good, good, real good natural shine actually. Cause I've been washing my hands a lot. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm a little tiny bit ashy. I'ma just, you know, give a little demonstration. But it gives a really, really good natural 
um, shine to your skin. So even when I don't need it, like, um, like I put my creamy shea body butter on as soon as I get out the shower. But when I'm going out, if I got on shorts or, you know, I got a lot of skin out, I always, always put some of this oil on my skin too, just to make sure I'm shining. Like, you see that? Like, it give you an extra little shine, little glow. So you're not walking around. You know, summertime, you want your skin to be glowing and moisturized. So you can honestly use this in place of a sealant once you get out the shower. My preference is to use both. My recommendation is to use both the creamy shea body butter and the triple a body wave but you know you could use one or the other and once again all natural ingredients so let me show y'all my skin i'm glowing okay glowing glowing but um yeah that's our body care for this month um everything on the site it's still 25% off until Friday. I would highly, highly, highly recommend that y'all take advantage of this deal. Because when was the last time everything on the site was on sale? Hmm. <laughs> okay. So, but yeah, everybody enjoy your Wednesday. So, I actually remember what I was going to say before. I was so rudely interrupted by lawnmower. I was going into seeing how these are pure oils. So, I, I dare everybody if you purchase almond oil castor oil at all uh, the hip, the, 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 uh, um, <laughs> avocado oil anything you get it from the beauty supply i just dare you go in there and look at the back of the bottle g look at the back of the bottle and read how many things are in there that is not that oil that you purchase i just want you to read that and you feel me compare three ingredients i just i just want everybody if you bought your oil because i know a lot of especially a lot of men they buy oils from the beauty supply and walmart and stuff like that i just dare you go read the back of the bottle but you want to make sure that when you buy and stuff like oil that it's a pure oil read the ingredients because you could be buying something that say coconut oil and coconut oil the last ingredient in case anybody didn't know when ingredients are listed um like store made products it's in descending order so the first ingredient is what is the most potent you know like that's what uh the most of the product is so you could be buying something you think is coconut oil and this is probably only like 25 percent coconut oil 50 percent. you know like you just read your bottle and pay attention to the ingredients and um yeah stay moisturized